The development of the City of London goes back over 2,000 years. But a crucial turning point in the city's history was the Great Fire of London in 1666. The fire devastated the city, but this prompted one of the city's greatest architects, Sir Christopher Wren, to create a vision of Parisian-style boulevards and squares. Unfortunately, his plans failed. Sir Christopher Wren was an architect, but what he needed was an urban designer. Urban designers need to understand both the components and professionals that make up our towns and cities, such as transportation, architecture and landscape. Their knowledge could have solved Sir Christopher Wren's problems, for not only do they have to understand the physical elements, they must also consider the political, economic and social issues. So who are these people? And why is their role so important? So the kind of things um, that I do as a strategic manager is um, I, I work on ideas and um, visions of where we need to be uh, in terms of like the spaces that we use. So I work with lots of different people and help to prepare um, a kind of a program of ideas. Really the skills that you really need to go into that area I would say is a little bit of um, curiosity and insight in, and understanding of spaces. If you know, if you're just walking through um, places and you're kind of thinking, you know, if only there was more trees here or if there were more lights or if the lighting changed or if the mood could be different or if the seating was like this. If you're thinking in that way, if you're somebody who's got a bit of a creative eye and you can have an, and you can visualize, then it's perfect industry to go into. Urban designers require a broad range of skills to be effective at their job. Their work can affect many of the places we see around us today. So who wouldn't want to change the world we live in? Who wouldn't want to be an urban designer?